Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and let's do some solar dyeing slash cool vat dyeing. I've got here 100 grams of Donegal DK yarn from Laughing Hens. This is 87% wool, 13% Donegal viscose. I say solar dyeing slash cool vat dyeing because it is springtime and while it's warm some days, it's not warm other days. So got the dry yarn here what I'm gonna do so start I'm gonna add some dye this one is violet from DT craft and design this yarn is dry as you can see I haven't pre-soaked it I'm just being quite generous with this violets down there now the, this a little bit more and now the next one I'm using is a Valentine blush from uh, Dharma. Now the reason I've chosen Valentine blush and violet is because I am currently participating in a Twitter challenge uh, where you uh, an alpha, it's the April alphabet challenge and so today is V, you need to post something to do with the letter V. So I decided to go with my V dyes, violet and valentine blush. Now this will probably won't be published until June. So the alphabet challenge will be long over. But I thought I'd grab a few minutes while the kids are watching some TV. So quickly do this little ch challenge and again this is this is why i've chosen to do cool vat uh slash soda dyeing because it is easter holidays at the moment so i don't have much time to really do any dyeing so if i can set up this and then just leave it until the kids are back at school on monday that will be fantastic now all the stuff I'm using here is dedicated for dyeing and I'm wearing my gloves and I've got my mask on as well I'm quite generous with that dye I hope that's enough we'll see I did use two different spoons for these two dyes all right now I'm just gonna slowly add this water I've only ever swatch dyed the uh, lavender, not lavender, the Valentine blush. So I'm not really sure how strong that is. And I have used the violet before, but it was quite pale. So I don't know if I just didn't use enough then or what. So this would be quite interesting. There we go. So that's pretty full just poke poke it down oh those those colors are quite pretty <laughs> so gonna, yeah i think these colors will hopefully work very well together uh i don't know if they're going to blend or if we're still going to have the the pinks and the purples in there we will see. So I'm going to add my two tablespoons of vinegar. Dried off my spoon and I'm going to add a little bit more of this Valentine blush on the top. There we go. I am happy with that. I'm just going to cover this up now and leave it in the shed for a couple of days. And then we'll see if all the dye has absorbed to the yarn i'll probably still want to heat set this because as i said it's spring so some days it's really warm other days it's pretty chilly so we'll see what this looks like in a couple of days it's a week later i didn't intend to leave this a week but i did <laughs> and you see most of the dye is set you can see there's a little bit of uh, dye still in the water what i'm going to do is just oops, add this to my kettle 
see there's a little bit of water left I'm just gonna chuck that in a little bit more water and just turn the heat on and let it just slowly come up to a boil and then we can heat set it this way but beautiful and there's been a lot of blending but you can still see the pink and the purple so I'm really happy with this let's uh, so that yeah we'll just let this heat set now so once it comes up to boil I'll let it or just below a boil I'll let it sit on the heat for probably about 30 minutes this has been sitting on the heat just sort of steam like this for about about half an hour and it looks like the water has completely cleared that is gorgeous so I'm going to just turn the heat off and let it cool down and then we can wash it okay it's time to wash this yarn this is, this is completely cooled down and now we can wash it doesn't look like there's any runoff which is good add a little bit of washing up liquid this just helps to get rid of any anything extra that any dye that might not have bound to the yarn yeah I can see there's a little bit of dye there coming out in the water not much but I'm going to have to give this a rinse through a few times until the water runs clear I need to be careful washing this because it is non-superwash. I can't just have it sit underneath the running water because I don't want it to felt. There. See, that runoff is looking paler already. So I'm just going to rinse this through a few times and then I can hang it up to dry. And here is our gorgeous finished dyed yarn. Now you can see the violet has sort of taken over. But we still have these lovely pops of Valentine blush all throughout the yarn. And in some areas, there is some really lovely blending going on between the two colours. And we've still got all the pops of colour coming through from the Donegal yarn itself, which uh, hasn't taken up any of the dye at all. So I think altogether, this is a really, really nice skein of yarn. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do please click like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Should I do another alphabet dyeing challenge where I pick a random letter and dye some yarn with all of the dyes that start with that letter that I have in my collection? Uh, let me know should I do that? And if I should, which letter should I pick next? I publish videos once a week and they're normally uploaded between about 6 and 7 UK time on Monday evening. And I do like to do different things in my videos. So I may pick another letter and just die with all the dyes that I have in my collection with that start with that letter. I might uh, die roving or embroidery floss for cross stitching or do some tie dyeing. You know, I like to experiment and do all sorts of things. So there should always be something different and interesting to watch. Thank you so much for watching.